What's up guys, Ivan Carranza here and welcome to Bass Tone, 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 Tuesday. tone Tuesday. Tuesday. Today we're gonna do a performance analysis of my playing. In my channel I've mentioned a couple of times that sometimes, you know, a bass line is played correctly, you know, every note is right, there's nothing wrong with that, but sometimes the bass line doesn't feel the way it should or it doesn't feel good. You know, the performance is not ideal. The notes are correct, but the way they are delivered could be better. So we're gonna analyze two different recordings that I did and see how the difference is between different sections that I recorded. So let's check out my screen. I'm gonna go through, you know, all my takes. So I'm putting myself on the spot here, showing you how good or how bad <laughs> I record. Okay guys, so this is my screen and this is the project of a song by Ashmakers, that's my band. And in case you haven't checked us out, I'm gonna put a link in the description below. And this song was recorded using a pick, we're gonna check one with fingerstyle later. And I'm gonna play you this section that I've looped here so you can check or listen to um, what I recorded. I'm gonna play you first the reamped version with an ampeg amp and then we're gonna analyze the DI signal. So let's check that out. Okay, so that's the, you know, the bass sound on, on its own, it would sound like this. So it's right at the edge of being distorted, it's a bit crunchy, but not too much. And these are the drums on their own. That's my buddy Matthias Blaze on drums. And they are not fully mixed yet, so that's the rough drum mix. But let's take a look at what I recorded, and this is the track, the one that says Noble DI. And as you can see, I did a bunch of takes in different sections. I've comped different sections of the song, but there are some portions that have bigger chunks, you know, like this one or this part here or that one. There's probably a verse. So it's not like I was going for a perfect performance in that everything has to be exactly to the grid, but... I took different portions that to me sounded and felt the best when played together with the drums. So we're gonna take a look at that. Now I've looped this section like I mentioned, and if we look at this, this you know bar 26 to 34, and it's mainly this part right here with a bit of this take. So I'm gonna open up. There we go. You know, that's just an eighth note based bass line. It's eighth notes the whole time, right? And one would think, well, eighth notes are easy to play. Uh, you know, there's nothing complicated about that. There's nothing really tricky about this line. But let's listen to the differences on how different takes sound like and feel like. So I'm going to grab this top one. compared to to me th this one sounds a bit more calm and I'm gonna grab for example I don't know this one I made a mistake there for example <laughs> I'm gonna grab this one That was also pretty good. Let's take a listen to the first ones that I did. So this is the very first take that I did. Compared to 
respect to this. I'm gonna go back. Okay, to me, those two comps for that section, for example, are very different. The, f the very first take that I did of the song here, I mean, all the notes are correct, it's in time, but it's lacking energy. It's the other one has much more drive, much more push, even though this take is correct, right? But it could be, you know, it could add some more to the song. Now, one reason why I have so many takes is because I'm very, you know, I, if I do one take and I, I think I, I can do it better, I'm going to record again because I'm, I'm like, I can do it better than that. I can do it better than that. And I just record, as, you know, as many takes as it takes me to feel comfortable. Uh, I could have picked this one or this one or, or a combination of, of several ones, you know, doing some comping, but... I prefer to nail a bigger portion and be happy w with myself, with my performance, than, you know, try to puzzle something together. Um, but with those two examples, those two sections, you could already hear what I mean by different performances. Now, I'm going to go to your section, uh, to your song, sorry, w which I play with fingers, and we can, gonna, we, we can analyze what I mean. Let's check this section right here, because it's also based on eighth notes. And we're gonna listen to the differences in the performance. So first, bass to go with the drums. Right, just the bass. Drums. Let's listen to this one. Take, take number four. Number five. This one sounds a bit weaker in comparison to the other two. Like this, it hasn't that much energy. I'm gonna go, I don't know, this one. This one is also lacking some energy compared to this. This one, 45. I messed up. It was also pretty decent. I'm dragging a bit here compared to to this one. That is what I wanted to show you guys, that sometimes even though a performance or a recording is correct in the way that, or in the sense that you're playing the right notes, you're playing in time, it doesn't feel the way it's supposed to feel. Which is why it's important to record yourself and listen back to get a, an immediate feedback of how you're doing. Because if you just play things once and they're forgotten, and you might think, okay, that was a great performance, but then you listen back to the recording and are like, ah, you know, it's, uh, could be better, which is actually what the, you know, the people in the audience, the crowd hears. So when you know uh, which areas you can improve, if you know that one section of a song you're playing it mostly uh, too quiet or, or 
you're digging into hard or you don't control the dynamics as uh, as bad as you could if you record yourself and listen back you can analyze that and adapt and improve your playing i hope you guys liked the video and that you can take something from this and apply it to your playing or to your practice routine and as always let me know what you think in the comments and don't forget to subscribe hit the notification bell to stay up to date with the content that's coming to the channel thank you guys for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one take care mm -hmm.